Log recording. 5.09 in the morning, West Coast time. It's still October the 21st. Two third. Uh, I can't even talk right this morning. I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed. There's a lot of crap happening right now that shouldn't be happening, and yet what's happening? We finally get the relief going on, the relief train. And also talking about celebrating because an American woman and her daughter comes out alive. And it's just not enough on that shit. It's not enough. I was going to expect to do something today, a couple of things. Schoolwork. I still need to get the homework done by the end of this weekend. Or actually, by the end of Sunday. Get it done, get it over with, turn it in. I'm getting burned out from all this shit happening in Israel and the Middle East right now. It's not even funny. I was really going off the sarcastic roller coaster here by sending a, a letter to a guy named Michael Smarkanish on CNN. You believe that shit? Not me. You know, I'm capable of talking to anybody about this damn thing. So I'll send it over to some of the people I know. Uh, they're all over an artist in recovery YouTube site. Yay. So, we'll just say, Moran Daryl, how's your day going so far right now? Because I am not alive, not awake for this crap in the morning. Not. I'm supposed to be. Give me a break. Everything happening these days, I know you're trying to get to the unusual things to talk about. Yeah. I turn on the damn news and I'm saying all hell breaking loose. How's that grab you, pal? Yeah, I still got the math class. I still got to struggle through. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. Nothing like I've ever seen before. It's concepts that I haven't even dealt with. And equations that I've never come across. And I'm trying to figure out, is this stuff actually legitimate and usable in the regular every day? I mean, I know what counting is. You want math? Go to accounting. You want to be a rocket scientist, you take the algebra, you take the trig, you take the geometry, you take the calculus, you take the physics. Our brain's not wired for that. Of course, some people will probably tell me otherwise. I was shown videos at the beginning of the class term, and you know, I'm taking the math for liberal arts. A local college out here, Lancaster, California. It's the Antelope Valley College. Surely you've seen that teddy bear kept popping up every so often. Well, i got to move back there. Anyway, where the hell is I? I'm still waking up here. No coffee yet. So I'm just muttering out of my words here. But this particular cat, this particular class over here, teaches you some mathematical formulas that nobody else touches in the first place. As I said before, I ought to take accounting because I can understand that crap. And how does this apply to anybody else? Doesn't. Except i got to get it done and get it for class credit and keep moving on until I graduate out of college. I don't keep track of everybody else these days, though this... All this paparazzi stuff you're doing here. No, I don't. Their lives, their lives. I, I, I just, ugh. It has nothing to do with what the hell I'm doing these days. So for right now, I'm just struggling my ass off. Said before, I sent a letter to Michael Muscar uh, Smark there. I should, have caught his, I should have caught his thing about, oh, 4 o'clock. He was streaming about Department of State issues warning for Americans traveling. No shit, Sherlock. 
I'll uh, send a copy of this blather to him anyway, just for the fun of it. Just for a lark. <laughs> and I'll tell old smirk face. Uh, I'll take Mr. Mike. Yeah, no kidding. We've already been marked a long time ago. You go to the Middle East, you're gambling with your life. You go on these cruise ships, I keep thinking about the Achilles Laurel decades ago. Yeah. Remember the plane hijackings back in the 70s and 80s? I'm talking about the regular ones, uh, the uh, real ones. Because I know that they did hostage movies in the 80s during the Reagan year. And it's crazy as hell listening to that damn shit. Or actually watching it. Chuck Norris in his prime. God, what a... An arrogant fuck these days. He's a... Uh, he's a Trumplicant. He's a Trumplicant. I used to admire this guy. Now I can't stand him. I focus on the stuff that's usually way out there that's going to affect us one way or another and scare the living crap out of us. You've been seeing the news reports. You've seen how people are freaking out left and right. But they're not doing the right freakouts that I, you know, that we need out here anyway. You know, I've heard too much. There's always different terminologies for me to try to pick out of my damn foggy brain at this point over here, but let alone this one. I just... De uh, deal with me this, okay, Daryl? If I can get my brain to work. Politicians bitching and griping at each other. They want to do things for America. They want, they want, they want, but they're not doing this shit. We get gathering on January 6th by a, by a gas bag who wants to keep his job. Even after he got voted out of office, he was going to keep his job one way or another. But here's the thing. Do we have that kind of situation happening right now as it is? No, we don't. We don't do it. We're not out there protesting. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get comfortable this damn chair of mine. We're not doing like protesting and telling these people to get off their dead ass and get their damn jobs done or else they're out of an office. They're out of a job. <laughs> okay, can I pick on one particular politician right now this morning? Jim Jordan. Schmuck. I like to drop, drop a little bit of a reality leaflet into his mailbox there. His mental mailbox. You know what the problem is with this asshole? 15 years he's been at the job and he did shit. Nothing. No sponsoring. No co-sponsoring. No drafting up bills. Just taking up the taxpayer's time and, and wasting oxygen. And blame, 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 blame. Doesn't work well with the Democrats. Why should he? He's just there because he don't know where the hell he's going. A former basketball coach has screwed things up in his life. So now he's got to blame, 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 blame. It's everybody else's fault. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. What the hell has he been doing? Going on committees. That's about it. Does he vote? Nope. Or he probably does vote, but the problem is he hasn't got any experience. Leading, governing, nothing. And yet he wants the speakership? Oh. Now he's seen too many people not like his ass, so what does he do? He drops it. Figures. Doesn't have cojones. If I learned the process and how to write bills, how to sponsor them, how to produce them, 
Maybe I could have wrote, run for Congress. Except I don't live in his territory, thank God. Fifteen years these people put up with this fool and he doesn't know chef room? Okay, so yeah. Videos I made earlier on that I blame voters and I do blame voters because they're idiots. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Fifteen years for a guy and if they don't even keep track of his own record. So right now you've got on the main media right now, the corporate media, and they're talking about well, what's happened this past week? And see if 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 Jordan's going to be a good fit, or these other twenty odd nut jobs out there are going to be a good fit for speakership, even though they voted against, you know, they voted for chaos, and they're part of the chaos. Jordan was never, ever a leadership material. He kept trying to prop himself up one. He's a complete fool and idiot. I said something about me saying I wanted to, maybe I could have been one of those guys. Trouble is, I would have to be popular. I would have to say the right messages, the right thing to people, and promise a hell of a lot of bullshit. And then seek money from other sources other than the people. Because it takes a lot of money to get into the job. Besides voting, you also need to have money to keep you going. You need to seek corporate sponsorships because they have the billions to do so. And you got to speak their lingo and be their puppet. Oh, thank you. So as I'm listening to, as I'm watching this, watching people just about what's going on, I'm falling asleep again. I've been up once already. We're at midnight. Couldn't deal with it. Had to go back to. Had to go back to bed. And deal with sh and deal with stuff. Have to curtail the language there, Daryl. I'm not even like it. I hope your day's going a lot better than I am because I still got math work to do and I still, well, I think I'll do laundry in the morning. Screw it. A dirty pile is, is increasing at this point. So, I'll talk at you later, Daryl. I'll do it just another generalized, just to keep me going.